Good morning. Today is April 14, 2020, Tuesday. We will read the story Medieval Jousting and we will discuss the questions for the reading. Before we start reading the story, I want to show you guys some extreme sports that they will mention in the reading. Motocross is one of them. Basically, a person is riding a bike and you are riding your bike on a dirt road or unpaved road. The next one is windsurfing. It looks like this. So those are some of the extreme sports that will be mentioned in the reading. Okay, so let's start our reading. Medieval jousting, an extreme sport. Are you an extreme sports enthusiast? Do you live for motocross, ice climbing, or windsurfing? If so, chances are that if you had lived around the 15th century, you might have loved jousting. Okay, so let's stop here. There's a when, okay? So, um, when did jousting take place, okay? So, I'm going to give you guys a minute to think about that. So, if you said it took place in the 15th century, you are correct, okay? So, let's talk about the main idea of the first paragraph. What do you think is the main idea of the first paragraph? If you said that um, jousting is an extreme sport, you are correct, okay? Basically, it's comparing jousting to motocross, ice climbing, and windsurfing, which are popular extreme sports that people do now. Let's read the second paragraph. Jousting was a sport played in the Middle Ages by two armored knights mounted on horses. The sport took place at tournaments, and they explain what a tournament is, a series of contests that continued until one contestant won the final round. Tournaments also had the advantage or benefit or pro of keeping knights in excellent physical and mental condition in case they were called upon to fight in a war. Okay, so let's stop here. What's the main idea of the second paragraph? Okay, so if you said um, how jousting was played, how jousting was played, you are correct, okay? So that they explained that, of course, you need two people, which are two armored knights on horses, and then they played um, in a tournament, okay? So basically, in a tournament, you keep on playing until someone um, wins. They also tell you one of the reasons why knights would do this okay or what's the benefit to them by doing this so they're saying that you know when knights do this they're they were in excellent physical and mental condition so they are ready for war okay because knights do fight in a war that's um part of their job okay okay so let's go to the third paragraph jousting knights rode for local noble a respected leader from a higher class, often their horses were decorated with emblems representing those nobles. Sometimes knights also carried hair ribbons or handkerchiefs representing women who were married and from a higher class than the knights. Okay, so let's stop here. I want you guys to think of the main idea for this paragraph. And a clue is a who. It's answering the question, who? Okay, so basically, who did the knights rode for? Who did the knights rode for? They rode for local nobles, okay? So, um, they were representing the nobles. Um, that's why their horses had um, emblems of nobles and the knights would also carry hair ribbons or handkerchiefs to represent um, women who are nobles, okay? Um, let's go to the next paragraph, which is the fourth paragraph. To start a jousting match, the knights mounted their horses and set their lances or wooden spears in the resting position. Then they waited for the herald, the official who made announcements at the tournaments to give the signal to charge. Charge is basically when they start. So if they say charge, that means they have, you know, to start um, moving the horse. Okay. Upon hearing the signal, 
the knights galloped straight toward each other the object of the joust was to knock the opponent off his horse using a lance if both knights remained seated and unhurt they wheeled their horses around or they turned around and began to charge again charging continued until one of the knights and often his horse as well was knocked to the ground so it only stops when basically um, one of the knights would fall off the horse and fall to the ground okay if not they have to keep on doing it again they would keep on turning around and charging at each other okay so let's stop here what is the main idea of the fourth paragraph so if you said um, what are the rules of a jousting match what are the rules of a jousting match you are correct so the first rule is basically you're in a resting position okay you're getting ready for it to start then the herald would say charge when they when the knights hear the word charge that's when they start galloping or moving toward each other and then the match would end if basically one of the knights um, falls to the ground okay so that's ba the basic um, rules of jousting let's go to the last or the fifth paragraph jousting offered participating knights substantial prize money as well as the adoration of the crowd however it was an extremely dangerous sport that could be bloody and brutal knights often broke bones as they fell from their horses or were injured when hit by their opponents or enemies lance at least in motocross no one is trying to make you fall so for this one i will ask you guys two questions okay the first one is why would knights uh joust why would knights choose to joust so if you said because they would win a lot of money you are correct and the other reason is the adoration of the crowd so that's the other reason they would do it adoration of the crowd would mean that people admire them they respect the knights they approve of them okay or some women might be in love with the knights okay but there's a uh, respect um, when you win jousting and the next question is what are the dangers of jousting what are the dangers of jousting okay so if you said that um, knights would break their bones or they were injured um, you are correct okay so those are the dangers of jousting so let's look at the questions that you guys have to answer there are only four questions the first one is what are the underlying reasons that men participated in medieval tournaments so we talked about three reasons why they did so if you can find all the three reasons why they joined um, jousting uh, write write it down here okay the three reasons that you can find from the reading so go back to the text or the reading Next one, which details support the idea that jousting was a dangerous activity? So you have to find a sentence in the reading that tells you that jousting is a dangerous activity. The next one, how did a jousting match between two knights end? How did a jousting match between two knights end? So how would the jousting tournament finish or end? What would happen? That's what you would write here or explain here. The last one is what is the main idea of the text or the reading what is the main idea of the text or the reading so everything that you've read the five paragraphs what is it trying to tell you okay so i know there are many ideas but choose one what is it trying to tell you so i would need to work by 5 p.m today if you guys have any questions send me a message i will talk to you guys tomorrow have a good one bye